Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Juliette Jamar the Vibra. So today is the big gender reveal. Woo! We're gonna find out if we're having a girl and a boy. Or a boy. No twins, just girl and boy. So I just wanted to bring you guys along, stick around to the end of this video, and see what happens. Okay, let's briefly talk about the decor going on. This is all DIY, so every single piece, well apart from making the cake and the cookies, I didn't make those. But everything else is all DIY and I put this all together. So if you're feeling this decor, if you're into a neutral, neutral party theme, this was beautiful to put together. Did take a little bit of time making this um, balloon garland, but as you can see, it's totally worth it. Making the balloon garland, I feel like that took us probably the longest. Us? Well, <laughs> that's my husband in the background. Yeah, it took him maybe the longest. He definitely did the majority of pretty much everything, and I just did these little bubbies, the little <laughs> clusters. That was all me, but hubby takes the full credit for this for sure. Going into these flowers, I started with, with you know putting like the larger pieces, the larger campus grass in the back, just so that will be like the major framing. So start with that for sure, and then work your way inward. Starting with like having three Because I don't like doing things in two so I put three roses down here and then just kind of build, build it out from there Let me give you guys a closer look so you can see everything I'm working with So here's the sign that will go on the wall as the center kind of focal point and then we have this balloon garland to make So that's gonna take some time <laughs> Okay, so let's get into some flower decorating for the gender reveal. I'm doing, as you guys can see, or have seen previously, I'm doing a very neutral theme, just very natural tones. So I'm working with preserved natural flowers. I'm trying to stress them out to get three, three like arrangements, but if it doesn't work out, I might just do two so it doesn't look too like weak. So as far as the flowers goes, I'm working with a lot of, let me turn that down, dried, preserved, natural flowers. I've got some pampas grass, some preserved hydrangeas, some bunny tails as well. As well as some more pampas grass. And this one is dried baby's breath, I believe. Yeah, preserved baby's breath and preserved Italian ruscus and then some silk roses as well. So that's what I'm working with here. That's the spread. Hoping to get two nice fuller looking arrangements in there. Three would be great, but looking like two would be best for that, this amount of flowers. Okay, so I'm loving how it's turning out. It's actually pretty interesting, like looking at the amount of like preserved flowers that I had, it looked like quite small. I thought I wouldn't be able to get like more than two really full, you know, arrangements, but it's interesting, like they, it really actually stretches out quite a bit. So I might be able to actually get like three, definitely three, and maybe stretch it to four because they actually really spread out a lot and um, it has more, then it looks, you know, but here's what we're working with. This is the final product I'm sort of going for. So if you guys love this, I'll link everything below so you can um, get the preserved flowers yourself. Oh, and a tip when you're working with pampas grass, it's so fluffy and it is quite messy, so when you're done your arrangements, just take some hairspray and spray it and it kind of just makes it not like, you know, get everywhere. So just spray it down a little bit with some hairspray and that will help it like hold um, so you're not getting all those fluffs and flyaways everywhere. Okay guys, so this is the final product. So yeah, I was able to actually get four bouquet out of that what seemed like a little amount of um, preserved flowers, but yeah, I was able to stretch it out 
have one bigger, larger one that will be like the centerpiece. And then three little fillers. But yeah. Loving it. Loving how it turned out. Again, I'll link everything so you guys can uh, shop it. balloons I see there's two in one just to get the right color be sure to right <laughs> all right so double balloon here apparently it's some color thing but I was tying both balloons up like this and literally breaking my fingers every time <laughs> and it took me about 30 balloons till Juliet googled it and all you got to do is tie the inside one because the outside one is just a wrapper and it doesn't need air in it. Duh. It's just there for color. So, Pretty much, it's just there for color. So boom, there we go. And you don't uh, bruise your fingers. Save again. yourself a bunch of pain <laughs> and time and uh, do it like that. This is what we're looking at. And a million more to go. And Soleil hates, Soleil hates the sound. She gets so scared. Just look at her closing her ears. And <laughs> one of that loud thing. All right, back to it. Okay, we're doing this. Okay, three, two, one. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. You have a brother! You have a brother! 